Hello Virgo, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading. It will be from the 8th to the 14th of November it is, isn't it? <laughs> November 2021 for the sign of Virgo, Sun, Moon Rising and Venus. So I hope you well. Let's get straight into your reading. Remember these are for seven days only and they won't resonate with everybody. That's fine. So just take what resonates with you as always. Okay, so we have take action. I like this energy of the angel getting on the horse, getting on the horse, taking the reins, going forward. You know, this might be you taking action or there might well be a reason to take action this week. Let's get another card. What do we have for our lovely Virgos, please? Message for Virgo for the week. Message for Virgo for the week, please. Message for Virgo. Okay. I have boundaries. You see that person, they need to get that ladder to climb over that wall to get the dream. You know, you can see the castle in the sky to make something happen maybe. I feel in this energy, maybe there's some boundary that you're dealing with and it's about overcoming that. Could be about pushing boundaries here to get what you want. Or it might well be something's appearing for you that requires you to overcome something. So let's get some cards. I, um, I'm going to put use the Tarot Grand Lux this week. What do we have for Virgo? If we need to clarify, I'll be clarifying with the... Tarot of Dreams. So overarching energy first for Virgo, thank you. Okay, so we have the Hierophant. Hierophants are very spiritual energy, sometimes can represent a holy person or traditional roots, marriage, could be education, can mark religion in some respects. I feel in this energy, it might well be for some of you, it might well be some kind of commitment here. Let's get an extra card on the table. Yeah, the Page of Cups, the message. Okay. There you are, Virgo, in the challenge position. Shining the light from within. We have the Queen of Cups in the Advice from Spirit and the Three of Cups in the Near Future. Seven of Pentacles evaluating. The Knight of, Knight of Swords and the Two of Wands. Bottom of the deck, we have the world energy. Yeah. I mean, for some of you, it might, it feels, it feels you're, you're taking stock of something here. I mean, these energies are suggesting something that you've put time and effort already into. I mean, for some of you, I mean, the cups energy generally is to do with heart energies, love energies, so it feels like a relationship. Yeah, it feels, it feels in this energy, Virgo, it feels to do with a relationship. We have a message and we have the Hierophant here. I mean, this certainly is, I feel like there's somebody saying something to you or maybe you'd be open to saying something to somebody now. Let's take the relationship to the next level. Let's move this relationship to the next stage. This can represent marriage here, maybe considering marriage or whatever the next traditional step is, buying a home together, moving in together, could be for some of you having children. It, it just feels like the next traditional step for some of you. And there's, there could be somebody saying to you, I really want this, I think it's time, we've been together for a while now, and this is what I want. I feel that's what you're being told here. And this is an energy of Somebody, there is a requirement to take action, which is pretty much what we were saying at the beginning, but it will require overcoming some boundary. So whatever that boundary is for you, and it will be different for each of you, 
It could be your own inner reservations. It could be past experience. Plays a part in building boundaries sometimes. Well, I don't really want to go this far. I don't want to commit to this level because because I've been here before. You know, it's all it's to get the dream. You can see the castle in the sky. Make it real. I feel that there's an opportunity to deepen. And transform a relationship to the next level. There you are in the challenge position with the seven of pentacles. Shine in the light from within. This is an energy of I've been with this person for this amount of time and standing in my truth and shining a light on my truth from within. Which way do I really want to go? How do I see this evolving? It is an energy of going within to really which illuminates you in how you take action in your external environment. That's what, the, that's what the hermit does. It's a great resolution energy. It's also a great energy of finding clarity and answers and wisdom and what experience has taught you so far within this relationship here. I mean, certainly this Seven of Pentacles represents something solid. It represents something of value. But it is that energy of taking stock, evaluating, do I really want to go further with this do i see this person in my future virgo we have the queen of cups which could be somebody in your life and the knight of swords again this can be your energy i mean you might also be you know the queen of cups can be somebody who is a love interest in your life it could be this person who you're in a relationship with male or female energy a very kind compassionate loving caring person um, you know, this can sometimes also be where it might well be, and it might well be that there's a serious conversation to be had here in love, some kind of heart to heart conversation. I also feel if you are unclear, there could be somebody who understands matters of the heart who will give you some supportive advice, because this can also be that communication that can bring change and clarity and direction to your life. So it might well be someone shedding the light or helping you shed light on a situation in how you need forward. And it's to do with matters of the heart. The Three of Cups can be that celebratory energy, that coming together. Um, Some, it is a card of fun, celebration, coming together energy. I mean, the two of wands is is that choice. Certainly with the, the world card, some kind of choice or decision. The world card is an energy of completion. And it's a successful completion energy generally, where something completes in order to move to the next level because you've come so far on this journey and that world card being in your reading is signifying to you that you have an opportunity to uh, go to the next level, the next step, evolve this relationship in some way because you've successfully completed a life cycle. So that is the energy, but it's a choice, a decision on whether you want this or not. Again, sometimes friends, family, your community can be supportive as well in giving you advice here. Uh, maybe bringing clarity, like I said, to a situation. But it certainly feels that there's some significant choice that's requiring you to make. I feel in the next few days on how you move forward with a relationship. I don't see any negative cards that are about the relationship itself. There's certainly an energy here of... of because this is your card, I feel this is you going within sometimes it is an energy of just needing to remove yourself from a situation even so that could be advice for you in order to really find the clarity that you need in how you do take action and it might well be you remove yourself maybe speak to somebody about how to move forward and maybe overcome some kind of boundary here because i feel that's what somebody is asking you to do but again choice is yours Okay, so we'll pull a final card, final fairy card. I mean, it feels a really hopeful, positive reading. So what do we have 
for Virgo, please. Message for Virgo, please. For the week. Yeah, you see, this is very much like your energy, tree wisdom. This is an energy of earth energy and finding the knowledge and wisdom. So we have this tree dryad will help you navigate through your current situation. Her flute can reveal insights and answers through the sounds it makes. This is about finding the answers that you need on how you really do want to move forward. That's what I have for you, Virgo. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. A wonderful weekend. Well, a wonderful weekend because I am releasing these on Friday and a wonderful week. Uh, and I will see you next time. Thank you.